Hey everybody, welcome back to Our Lady of the Harvest Homestead and our YouTube channel. So today I want to walk you through a pretty exciting thing we did a couple weeks ago. Uh, as you know, we are off-grid here in East Texas. We have no utilities, no power, no water. As you know, I'm working on water and I was working on power. So I want to let you know that it's pretty exciting. We actually have some power now. Uh, so we actually went with uh, Sunbolt Power. We went with them for both the inverter. This is a uh, inverter, charge controller, everything pretty much all, all in one. These things are great. And we've gone with their uh, uh, lithium ion phosphate batteries as well. So these are also great. So we started low. We're only at 6,500 watts. And we did this because the power company wanted to charge us an ex exorbitant um, um, amount of money to trench 125 feet from the power pole. Um, and it was about double what I paid to start off on the 6,500 watts. Uh, and I'll walk you over the panels after this. But we knew this was a start. We knew this battery uh, capacity and the solar panels would just be a very, very small start. But it would get us in the right direction and probably get us through the winter time. Uh, we have just a, uh, some outlets around here. But inside of the cabin, we have just outlets. We're not even running lights and switches and stuff like that yet. So literally right now, this whole system is powering the inverter and the Starlink. That's literally all it's doing. So we love the Sun Gold. These things have been great. Uh, it's a nice uh, day today. It's clear and sunny. We're getting about 1,000 kilowatts right now, almost about 1,100 at 120 volt. Um, we are not paralleling any of these. We're not doing 240. This is only 120. Um, one learning lesson though I will tell you is that, again, we bought just the one battery. So on days like this, over a thousand watts, uh, we got four 370 watt panels. Um, it'll power all the stuff that we need to power in here right now. But the one thing I learned is it's December. We only get sun from good sun from 10 to three, so five, six hours a day at, at max. Uh, and it's the winter time, so the sun's not really all that strong anymore down here right now. So I knew this was gonna be tight, and uh, we ran out of battery this morning at 5 a.m. Uh, got power back again around nine when the sun came back and kicked, or about 10 a.m., kicked back to like a thousand, uh, a thousand kilowatts, like immediately, or a thousand watts, sorry. Uh, and I knew that was gonna happen, sadly. So ultimately, we need another battery, probably one, two, and we can put another couple down there as well. So we're, we're going to add a lot of batteries. We're going to add more solar panels. Uh, we're only at 13, 1,380 watts or so of panels. Um, monocrystalline part panels, they were great. The, you can monitor this, all of this on your phone. The, they got a great app, you, you, you can see what's going on. Uh, the way we ran it for right now, just on the single phase 120 is, we got it coming in with 50 amp breaker, which can handle about uh, 6,000 watts or so, which again will power everything we have here and, and a lot more, so I'm not worried about it. We have no, no tie to the grid, so it's completely off. Uh, we are on our own. So, with that being said, we like these, but we're going to probably, I left room to put another inverter about here, give it all the airflow it needs, uh, and the rest is just gonna be batteries. So, we're gonna have tons of batteries. So with that, let's go walk out to the solar mount. All right, so here we are, we're up in our meadow. I showed you the meadow earlier on Starlink, but if you pan around here, you can see this is basically, I'm facing south right now. This is due south. Um, I had done the calculations that the best, uh, the best actual direction is one degree east of south, which is basically this. So we are, are facing as best as we, we possibly can. Um, I found a great um, a website that I'll put in the description that helps you understand what your tilt is, what your direction, all that kind of stuff. So I used that and that was super helpful. I think our tilt, our best average yearly tilt it's like 31 degrees or something like that. That's exactly how these are. As I mentioned, these are also Sun Gold Power. These are 370 watt monocrystalline perk panels. Uh, if you want to come walk over here, you can see we built our own little stand. We had a whole bunch of extra two by fours from our framing two by fours and one by sixes. 
Uh, and we built this w with a buddy of mine just over, over the weekend. And it was reasonably easy. We ran all of our cables back here. Everything is all, all zip tied. And as I mentioned, we have a conduit for power for our Starlink over there. And the 10 gauge for the solar is direct burial. So that's all in the ground. What we're gonna do, um, knowing our limitation of the battery and the power that we had yesterday, or, or this morning rather, where we actually ran out of power and had to start over again. <clears throat> again, I, I knew that was gonna happen. I didn't think it was gonna happen um, as quickly as it did, but I've never lived off grid on batteries before. So in the next probably month or so, I think we're gonna go add another um, five of these panels, which will get us up to nine 370 watt panels and probably add another two of the 5,000 kilowatt hour uh, lithium ion phosphate batteries. So that'll give us actually 15,000 kilowatt hours of battery and a whole lot of panels. We're gonna run the panels this way, actually. Can you back up a little bit and show? So what happens is because this is actually south, that's east, this is west, um, our panels get sunlight around the best light. It starts to really kick in around 9, 30, 10 o'clock in the morning, but then it loses power, or it gets power till earlier in the day. So when we expand this way, we'll get power earlier in the day and we'll get it into the later for, and, and then we'll end. Uh, so this will get power earlier and lose power first, right? So these two will, will all work together. Down the road, when we need more power, we can add probably like another, comfortably, like another two or three rows of these. Uh, and the Sun Gold Power 6500 watt inverter has two charge controllers, I believe each capable of 4,000 watts of, of input on the solar side. We can go that way, we can go this way, and I'll just manage the trees and take, take down the limbs above um, to, to keep an open setting. But you can see, I kind of picked this out originally and this went really, really well because literally the whole meadow is completely open and we face south. So in the summertime, this area just absolutely bakes all day long. All the cabin, which is down there, sits under the shade of the, of the pine trees. So uh, that's how we're starting our solar journey. So this is part one. Come back and um, like this video and, and subscribe to our channel. Come back in a month and I will do an update when we add more panels, add more batteries, and we're that much more off the grid and on our own. So thanks for joining us and we'll see you next time.